Hi guys, Ghost here. It's October, so that means spooky games, even though it's mainly all I play, but spooky games. And today we're playing Fear and Hunger. Spoiler, this game is apparently really messed up, really dark, and a lot of trigger warnings. So, editor, trigger warning everywhere. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think we're ready. So this was just the next screen. I accidentally hit new game. <laughs> Mercenary. Thief. Assassin. Whatever brings the silver to the table. Mercenary is known for his dirty tactics in battle and crafty ways of getting and gaining the advantage. Knight. Knight with, knight with pure and righteous ways of the warrior. Having been trained for combat since a child, Knight excels in close combat and with different weaponry. Dark Priest. Bearing no burden as on such things as mor morality and ethics gives Dark Priest an edge in blood magic. However, devoting oneself to magic has left his physical body weak. Outlander. Hardened in the freezing winds of the north, Outlander is epitome of survival. He knows all the tricks to stay alive and even in the most impossible of situations. Ooh, who do we want to be? Stuck between these two. I think I want to do blood magic. No. Let's steal things. Ooh. Can I type it here? I can't. I can't spell, guys. I'm so sorry. There we go. That's to me. Ghost. I tried to click that. Did y'all see that? I'm dumb. Oh. Didn't know if it was gonna. There we go. Be aware the game contains scenes of extreme violence, gore, sexual violence, and drugs, and uses if it's sensitive to such. Everything you were already warned beforehand. Closing and distorted. Okay. Oh. Game mode. Fear and hunger, terror and starvation. Uh, an easier mode for beginners. The darkness is more merciful, and starvation is less of a threat. The dungeons show no mercy, the darkness is real, starvation is consistent, enemies are tough, additional enemies and scenarios to p further pursue solo mode. No saving your game, no additional party members to recruit, all the features of the terror and starvation apply. Physical mental and social challenges on to one might be too much for beginners to handle. Uh, we have never played this game. Yes, I want the intro. You're born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for freedom and forces you to push your creativity to its limits. You put your creativity to the test in the most harshest of environments. You were born and soon abandoned in the capital of the Eastern Sanctuaries, Jedhaya. Jedhaya? You had to choose at a very young age to either become a pickpocket or a burglar or try to struggle and lead a honest life. We're gonna do a pickpocket. You spent your life learning he spent learning thievery here we go we got this your life spent learning thievery certainly didn't go to waste you learned to live with the constant fear and danger of over the years the crude streets of jedahaya teach you a valuable lessons you learned steel as you grew older you took part in various mercenary armies and learned the dirty tricks to stay alive you were taken in by the notorious veteran highwaymen and you joined the little band of criminals and ex soldiers during one of your mini raids, your brigade got ambushed and the odds were seriously against you. You could have just abandoned your comrades and kept your life, or you could have fought just to your last breath. Oh, we, we a fighter. Not many survived the ambush, but that just meant the mission's rewards got less takers. You're one of the lucky ones. You got 30 silver coins. You traveled across the land in your raids and eventually settled down in the kingdom of Rondon. Radon. Where silver was loose as long as you were up for getting your knife dirty. 
One day you got an ominous task from the officials of the kingdom. You are to be paid well in silver if you get a captain of a fabled mercenary army out of the dungeons of Adon itself. From the dungeons of fear, from the dungeons of fear and hunger, the morbid place has been used as a wartime prison by the kingdom, and for some reason they need an outside sword like yourself to infiltrate their very own stronghold. Something is clearly not right about this mission, and you have felt nausea since this moment you agreed on that job, but you are short on silver and a reward is all that matters in the end. You spent your last night in the kingdom. Go drinking and get laid. Hot. Stuck up on food, stuck up on healing items, a rush street. No, we're going to stuck up on healing items. You get a blue vial and two cloth fragments. Mm. Yes. Same. Well, the Dungeons of Fear and Hunger stand in front of you. Okay. Oh. That horse is laying down here. Why would you beat it? Based on the stage of decomposition, a horse has been dead for approximately one week. Do we beat it now? Beating the horse proceeds to no effects. Damn. The old wagon seems to be lightly equipped. Can we take it? The barking is getting closer. I'm scared. You search the bear for anything useful. You found a moldy bread. That's hot. Where are they coming from? You search the crypt for anything useful. You found some nitroglycerin powder. Okay. That's not what I expected. Not drinkable. Dried meat. Several coins. Red herb. A throwing dart. We got a lot of items. The air stands still and has an ominous, an ominous, 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 ominous. I know English. Should we just went in the entrance or should we have went downstairs? I'm scared. Is that should cover anything useful? A water bottle. Is there an inventory? Tab? Exit? Ooh. Necrophobia. Scimitar. How do you go back? I don't do video games. Into bark sticking cloth. Ooh, okay. Hello? Talking can sometimes get you out of uncomfortable situations. Steal from the rich and give to yourself. There's no shame in running away from battles till but another day. Guessing this is items. Yeah. Oh, I got a torch. An egg. Oh yeah, Pedra Tells is really big on this game. You light a torch. There's a guest book on the table. Someone has rented passages here. This nightmare has taken a stall on me. I'm dwelling into something far lesser than a man I once was. All the high morals and ethics have no value here. The things I've done to survive. There's no place for a little miscreant like me in these warmth of the sun anymore. I'm a part of these dungeons now. Part of this never-ending nightmare, just one more cog in this machine of fear and hunger. In a way I find comforting, I have a definite place in this wicked world. But I'm writing this here as a warning for anyone who happens to step down into this darkness. Do I leave if it's still possible? You find a small booklet under the guest book. You take the book of fears with you. Ooh, what's that? The book of fears and phobias. Necrophobia, fear of death, dead and corpses. Phasmophobia, fear of ghosts and ghastly figures. Rhabdophobia, fear of magic and otherworldly powers. Erotophobia, fear of sex and genitals. That's a thing. Zoophobia, fear of animals and beasts. Terraphobia, 
Fear of monsters and malformation. Panophobia. Fear of everything. We we now. Oh. We're gonna attack the arm. Oh, that's a pee pee. I'm gonna attack the pee pee. Attack the pee. Oh, I missed the pee pee. Are you, are, you, are you fucking me? I don't know. Tails? No, oh, well, we're dead. Well. That was fun. You find a serpent inside a rotten embrace of flesh. Someone's butthole? Everything's cold, wet, and stinks repulsively. Here's a butthole. Climbing in a butthole. Smell of gore and flesh fills the damp air. I got no legs. Are we still alive? I got no legs. I'm confused. Can I have my legs back? I want to go and restart. I want my legs. <laughs> Who are you? Are you gonna give me my legs? I want my legs back. I could have sworn! Stupid mind, stupid mind. Hi. You take me. Or do I have to go all the way around? Hey, is that rotten meat in my legs? Hey, you're walking. Hey, crow guy. Hi, crow guy. Don't peck my eyes out, please. You're cracking underneath your feet. Yeah, you barely managed to jump to safety. Ooh. Ah, no wait, you're a sane one, right? Right, right? Yeah, of course. I'd be dead otherwise now. Don't stay on the doorway. You can get us out if you're someone sees you. But my name doesn't matter in this very moment. I've been lost in these dungeons where it feels like a lifetime. But since the time has become blurry, it might be years, months, or I fear even just weeks. I cannot handle it any longer. I feel, I feel my mind giving up already. I just can't. I don't know what business you got here, but if I were you, I'd run as fast as possible. I got no legs! I can't run! <laughs> my love, I got no legs. But why? This is relentless behind every corner. Something uh, new awaits to army. Get hold of yourself. It's not that simple. Isn't it bad shit? The nurse was dingy and unsafe, but you could have free reach me if you choose to do so. Save and rest. Tails. <laughs> you have been blessed by the old god. Sleep well, my sleeping beauty. Sorcerer, you filthy animal. Is there no end to your cruelty? Quite, you pig. Just be glad I found someone more interesting than you. Run, pig, run. 
Prache your gods for this is your lucky day. Yeah, this will do. Oh god. I have not been the luckiest in this game. Let's see, let's see. You don't need your legs, do you? Well, not anymore, that's for sure. My legs were already gone! Pain and pleasure are not far apart. What causes pain to another can bring pleasure to someone else. I don't know what the fuck he's gotten at. Arms disgust me, especially limbs like yours. Oh. Where are you going? Got no need for arms. Chop, chop. <laughs> you remind my Asian sculptures now with your perfect skin and teeth. Only one detail and you truly be a work of art. Let us remove your sinful dirty parts. Chop, chop. My pee pee! My pee pee! He cut my pee pee. Now you're beautiful like me. Well. Let's try this again.